welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a small Dollar Tree haul for you today. I um, haven't really found a lot of stuff yet, but I'm hopeful that we'll get some fun things. And I did get some new stuff, but just not a lot. So we're going to make this fast and furious, shall we? In no particular order. Hi, Dub. I found some gnomes. Um, there was one more with gray, but I liked the pink one. And I love this teal color. So I grabbed two of these, who knows what they're for, but I thought they were super cute and they're soft and squishy. Um, I don't know if they had these last year. They had the big, I know they're the big gnomes, but I like the little ones just for some Easter stuff. Oh, I picked up, speaking of Easter, for Sarah, my niece, she loves these nails. And look at those colors. They're yellows and pastel -y spring colors. And I think these are the glue-on ones. Yes, and she likes these. So I grabbed those for Sarah's Easter basket. And then I think I've seen people hauling these, but the Prang brand, uh, you get 36 colored pencils, guys. Hi, baby. 36 different colors, which I thought was fantastic. Here, we're gonna say hi to Wellington. Say hi, my baby. He just had dinner. Say hi. Um, my cousin, he is in college and he's taking some biology and some science classes. So I grabbed him some for note taking and then I grabbed some just to keep around the house. I mean, I know they sell these at Michael's and different craft stores. So I figured why not? We need a thumbnail. Okay, what else do we have in here? I have a lot of stuff. Oh, yes. These, I'm pretty sure, are new. Or they're new to my store. So, they are... I think they're calling them de just carrot decor. You can hang them, but I will cut these off. But they're carrots with a little bow. And they came in three different patterns or fabrics. So, I probably will, like, tie them all together for my tiered tray or something. I need to trim these off too. I don't know why everything has to have such large tags, but I know they had something very similar last year at the Target dollar spot, but they were definitely $3 a piece. So these are a great find and they're stuffed and just fabric. So I grabbed those for some Easter decor. I just love spring and Easter. Hi, honey. Oh, you need a screech. He needs a little scratch today. Um, they did bring out their spring fling stuff. These are um, the little lunch containers that I've purchased in the past, the sandwich size, but I like this one because it's divided. So they're actually separated into two compartments, and I love that, especially if I'm going to bring like some fruit or whatever to work in my lunch this will keep the juices from getting other things so i could do like a nuts or yogurt or something and have two diff different containers really in one so i grabbed just one i have plenty of tupperware but i wanted to share that um uh in the eco-friendly section they brought out this it is a cork pencil bag and it's made out of cork and it is um, part of the binder pouch. It's binder pouch and it was part of the eco-friendly product line that they're bringing in. And you can obviously put it in a binder or not. It's a pencil holder, but really, I mean, let's be truthful. You can put anything you want, but I love it. I love that it's cork, which is biodegradable. So I grabbed that. Also in the eco line, they had the eco gang toothbrush so I grabbed this they have in a couple different colors I'm curious well I was gonna take it out of its package but it says please keep the handle dry after use the handle is made of 100% biodegradable bamboo and can be disposed of in your composting bin it will return to soil over time uh, the bristles are made of plant-based material and should be recycled with plastics. We recommend using pliers to remove the bristles. So it's a bamboo with a, you know your regular toothbrush. Here's a picture 
I kind of like it that they, it comes in its own little packaging, but it just looks like this. So I have a trip coming up and I needed a toothbrush. I don't typically travel with my electric toothbrush. Um, speaking of my upcoming trip, I grabbed some of these little tiny tweezers. Um, I use tweezers in my cross stitch because I get cat furs everywhere all the time. So there's uh, the black ones are like a pointy tip, so they won't really work. But the purple is slanted and the pink is flat, I believe. But these are small enough. I'll show you the little kit I'm putting together, but it's in like an Altoids tin. And that's going to be all I'm bringing for my stitching notions when I fly overseas next year. So I grab these. I have two kits going. So I have two pairs and the little ones I'll just keep for different things. But these are just little tweezers. They are the sassy and chic. I've purchased them before for other people, but not myself. Um, oh, and I grabbed a three pack of these little mini composition books. Um, because again, I'm trying to go minimalist with my travel. And when I go to Canada and, um, Ireland next year, I like to keep a notebook with my flight information and just things written down because if my battery on my phone dies, I'm kind of lost if I don't have things written down. So I thought, well, this is the perfect size. You get three little binders, I mean, three little notebooks. And I would say, they have, oh yeah, they do. Hey, they have 50 sheets each, which is perfect. So I know you have a black and a burgundy. I don't know. Let's see. I probably shouldn't do that, right, with my teeth. Let's open this up. I have some, I have some nail clippers. Yeah, how about if I use that? So these are interesting. I've always thought about getting them and then I was like, you have too many notebooks. But honestly, I carried with me when I went to England this year, a lark. Oh, and the middle one is blue. So you get like a burgundy, a black and a blue. When I traveled to England last year, I brought a pretty decent sized notebook and it was just an overkill. Plus when I'm traveling, I love to make lists. So this will be perfect is I can just put hotel, flight information, emergency contact numbers, just all kinds of stuff in here. And this will just slip right into my little belly bag and I can keep it handy. So I have three trips coming up. I won't need one per trip, but I figured it came as a three pack. Probably what I will do is put a couple pens in that notebook in here and put that in my backpack while I'm flying. Most likely, that's what will happen. Um, we have Sweetie's face waxing kits and they had a leg waxing kit that's in my purse over there. And you get 16 vanilla wax strips to wax your face and directions. I just thought they were hysterical. The brand, if you're on the hunt, is Paris, uh, Parisa Laboratories from Vancouver, British Columbia. But you get 16 strips to like wax your face and then they had leg strips as well. Hi, sir. He's silly. So I grabbed that because, well, I thought it was fun to share. All right, this is a first for me. String lights. Guys, they're peeps. We're gonna open these up. Um, I need to take, okay, hi, honey. I need to take, hi. I need to take them to work and hang them on my desk. Uh, but I need to get batteries and all that first. But it's not time for these, but when it's time. I just wanna see how long they are. Ooh, wheel, wheel now. I think they're like the same size as our Chris, you know, the ones we get at Christmas time. There we go. Uh, yes, they are. But they're peeps. They're like the little peeps. Oh yeah, I will be hanging these on my desk and I have the batteries to turn them on and off. And that way, if I forget to turn them off, it's okay. Okay, now I'm going to put these in my bag because, you know, I can't be having stuff all over my house, right? Put that back. I have a couple more things going on over here, but 
I feel like these are not new, but this is the first time I've seen them at my store, and they are pillow covers. And I, I want to say I've seen other people hauling different ones. I don't know if it was the Easter ones or what. Oh, oh my gosh. So cute. Yeah, and it has a zipper. Now, it's a plastic zipper, so probably, you know, you just want to be gentle, but... You can stuff your pillows. Oh, I want to glue like a real pom-pom uh, on here. And they came in pink and blue. And I just thought this was adorable. Um, I'm not mad at the quality, especially for such a short time that I would have these out. I don't think these are, I don't think these would fit. I will need to get like a smaller pillow form or just get some stuffing and stuff it and close the zipper but oh i love it so they came in blue and pink and they also it's the gingham which kills me so yeah i feel like they have these out at christmas time maybe my stores never got these that i was ever able to locate i can tell you that much all right what do we got over here oh some more easter basket stuff well i got myself some beef sticks we all know i love those um the peeps cotton candy so sarah doesn't eat peeps or marshmallows because they're she's vegetarian and they have gelatin in them but i believe the cotton candy is doesn't so if you didn't know gelatin is typically made out of um pork or beef um but this is Peeps Flavor Cotton Candies, and I got one for her and her friend. So I grabbed two of those because it's time to start getting things for Easter baskets. And then for her Easter basket, I got her some of this. It is Chapsticks brand Total Hydration Rosemary Peppermint, which I thought was fun. We love peppermint chapstick. So I thought, well, let's just get this. It says, find inner peace and center yourself by remembering to take time just for you. You are at your best when you balance work and play. So I grabbed that for her basket. I don't think her friend will want one for his basket, but I can get him some different chapstick because, well, he's gonna have to get on board with that. And then I grab these when I see them. They are not all created equal. So this specific one says 100% beef is only one gram of carb. Some of them have upwards of five and six grams. So we avoid the carby ones. Now, I wanna try this. This is coconut scented two in one sh shampoo and conditioner bar. If anybody's tried this, let me know. I'm curious to try a shampoo bar and a conditioner bar to see if I like it when I travel because it's obviously not a liquid so I can throw it in my carry-on or in my roll-on and um smells good but I like the slip of a conditioner I don't like my hair to feel dry and it just says rub moisturize bar between hands for lather gently massage into hair then rinse completely so I'm going to try this in my shower and if I like it I will buy another one and probably cut it in half or in a, to a quarter and just throw it in my suitcase when I travel and then I can have my shampoo and conditioner bar and then just toss it away or bring it home I could even probably shave some of it off but if you've ever flown and you have to have the, to carry, so when I go to Ireland, ouch, I would just say that my plan is to carry on only. I have some luggage coming from a company that hopefully will help me with that. I have to do a review, um, but my plan is to um, carry on only because I'm taking multiple flights. Okay. Last couple things I got, I'm sorry, Dollar Tree. We're having suspenders for St. Patrick's Day. I think these are fantastic. Um, obviously, you don't have to use these just for St. Patrick's Day, and I might wear them for Pelotonia, my bicycle ride, which is coming up, uh, because it's, it's our bank is green. So I thought these are perfect. And they are, I mean, I don't know how long they are. I mean, they are adjustable, so that's fantastic. But I got some suspenders because those are fun. Um, I got some Kristoff Professional uh, Shaping Hairspray. 
I looked this up. It does say it's cruelty free, which is great. And the dry conditioner was fun. So I grabbed just this. I mean, they sell this at like Walmart and stuff. Doesn't smell terrible, but I was in need of some hairspray. And if I can get it for a dollar opposed to a lot more dollars, I will always do that. Right? And then we just have a couple other things in here. Um, how fun are these? They're just straight push pins. I need them for my bulletin board in my office. And I'm obsessed with these colors. I might also take a few to work and put on my wall. So I have a wall that I can put push pins in for pictures and stuff. And I just thought these were super fun. So I just grabbed a pack of those. And then for Luna, I got this little chew toy for her. Um, she loves this kind of stuff and it's not stuffed, but it's small enough for her to carry around. So this will go in Luna's Easter basket um, with Sarah's stuff. But I thought this was a fun little toy. She has so many toys, guys. It's, it's kind of embarrassing. She has so many toys. Between here and at her house, this dog has not a lack for toys. And then the last thing I found was for my friend at work and they are um, the Star Wars Mandalorian, the little whatever this is called, the child, little baby Yoda. Um, they say hello and they are made, they're distributed by Greenbrier. So they are a Dollar Tree brand, but they are Star Wars Mandalorian socks. And I thought those would be fun for her. Um, just a little something if I see hi if I see I like to pick up for my team at the office um and so that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree I hope you enjoy I'm trying to get back on a regular filming schedule oh my skin is looking so much better I'm hoping these fade to nothingness soon um, I do go back to the dermatologist on the 3rd of March for my yearly checkup so hopefully she'll have some good news for me all right, guys, I hope you enjoy, and I will talk with you later. Bye.